2024 predictions 2024 predictions 2024 predictions 2024 predictions hope you're doing okay <clears throat> i have the sage out because the energy is just so like so much negative energy around you know and it's like sometimes you have to check yourself for the negative energy you're bringing to the table while also keeping an eye on other folks energies that they're projecting onto you but y'all know the deal you know that you know how that goes <clears throat> so i'm just gonna you know sage it out a little bit i wish i had my little thing maybe just a hum some ohms <clears throat> give a shout out damn it i want to give a shout out to all of the readers who all of the spiritualists in general who are pushing through and continuing the work that they do despite the fact that there may be a lot of people that disagree you know depending on where you're at maybe you've already kind of escaped that community of people that don't support you so you're free to kind of do what you want to do you know Sometimes it's like some folks have to move or leave to feel safe doing this work. Some folks, it's like you may be caught in a place where there are people around you, you know, that just would prefer that you didn't or have a hard time seeing the light in you. That's why I said OM, peace. It means peace because it's like, you know, people see you or they see your light and they mistake it for darkness. They see the power of your light and then assume something negative from what they don't understand, you know? Um, I just heard keep my child away from her type of energy. You know what I mean? As if, as if you connecting to your spiritual, spiritual self is like, um, so evil, so de demonic, you know what I mean? So, and then I, I said denom, it made me think denominator, common denominator. Maybe that's for some, somebody. But um, that can hurt. That can hurt when you know that your intentions are pure, but it's like you're just thinking outside of the box of what society offers you. 
um, and you're looking for your own guidance and God given guidance, spirit given guidance. And like, that's okay. So more power to all of you who um, have to push through, have to push through and have people messing with you, toying with you, laughing at you for using this part of your creativity, you know, because it, it can be it can be painful when you know your intentions are pure, you know you wouldn't hurt a fly or only an actual fly that's in your house. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're not um, you're not coming with negative intentions, but people are seeing that as negative. So I encourage you to continue, continue, know yourself. And I pray that if you have to leave, if you have to get away from some folks that you have a safe escape, an easy escape, as simple as it can be, um, as peaceful as it can be, and that you're able to cut the ties to folks that are holding on to you or expecting you to um, hold a certain kind of thing or be a something or not be something so that they feel better about themselves, all of that. Um, I pray that you escape it and that you can feel free and happy in 2024 to be who you are at the very least. Yeah, because I have been picking that up and it's been, you know, it's been really breaking my heart. You've been breaking my heart. And uh, I just mean like, it, it can be so sad, like, you know, especially when you're starting a YouTube channel. I feel like for folks who have already started one and have grown one, it's like that beginning stage is hard because people, um, the people who knew you before you started or just didn't like you, they feel like it's easier to hide it by watching you every day and hating on you silently. You know what I mean? Or like saying they don't know who you are anymore. You've changed and and like you know you can hear that your ears can literally hear that so more power to you more blessings to you and just trust that you know what you need more than anybody else around you bugging you knows what you need okay so let me tell you let me tell you my um the downloads that i got about the year 2024. It's the year of the dragon, the wood dragon. So already dragon energy. It's like um, representing courage and strength, creativity and innovation. And that's what I was getting about innovation, you know, trying new things, doing things differently than you've done them before. Um, sometimes out of being forced to do them differently, but then it ends up working out for you. Um, but yeah, so that's what the dragon symbolizes, strength, courage, creativity, innovation. And folks who are born in the year of the dragon or folks that um, are embodying this dragon energy are charismatic, ambitious, adventurous, fearless, confident, independent and visionary you know so i'm picking up it's like if you wanted to change your life if you wanted to change your life um you are doing it this year you are sticking to it this year you are sticking to your vision of what your life was gonna look like when you said you wanted to change it however long ago that is it's like I saw this vision of what I wanted my life to look like. And sometimes like we don't know really what it's gonna take to get there. Um, I have gotten a download of off-road and that made me think literally off-road, like driving off-road, but even just off-road of what's expected of you, um, what's assumed of you, all that. And so wood, dragon, wood makes me think, you know, earth. So earth dragon, so kind of like this courage to be innovative in the way that you see your stability, the way that you see um, how you do things, just how you do things in general, you know what I mean? So 
trust that visionary energy in you. You know, if you're a visionary, it's like, I see it this way. I see how things could be for me, how I want things to look for me. Um, certain directions I won't go in because I know that it's not right for me. And everybody else is like, that's the only way. That's the only way. That's the only way. What's that song? Um, and I'm made. Lord Hill to find my own destiny. I'm kind of blanking on all of the lyrics, but um, it just hurts when it has to be a fight. It's like, why do I have to fight you to do something differently? Why do I have to fight, you know, to um, just be who I am? What am I doing that is causing you so much pain except that you just don't understand where I'm coming from or what I'm trying to give. But it's like, there's people that do, you know? So, whoo, rolling it, rocking and rolling with the punches. That's another thing that I got. So I did th see things can take a while to come into fruition, a year to try out your vision and rock and roll with the punches. That's why I wrote rock and roll with the punches. And, um, This kind of like looming energy. I just heard daring, being daring. Um, but that the results may show in 2025. So I already know somebody's like, it, hey, you know, just tossing the papers in the air, like 2025. But I just notice that it's like, it's the year later that things come into fruition that are being spiritually manifested in the year, right? So it's like, if you watch my, the reading I did 2023 Aries and Libra, right? And so it's not Aries and Libra anymore. Mm, I don't have my phone with me, but if it's not Aries, it's now Pisces and Virgo. And that's literally the split between like analytical balance and visionary. So it's like that is now the polarity that we're seeing. What's the vision? What makes sense? What is the imagination bringing to the table? What, um, how do we ground it? So yes as you rock and roll you can see the results of your achievements in 2025 and that's not to mean that it's just going to be like the slowest longest year it's funny dragon and then drag on like i feel like people are assuming that this year is going to drag on because of the election but i have something about that in a second let me take a little pause mm -hmm. Hey mom, I'm doing a video, oh. so I know you heard me talking, could you just, thank you. So what I also got though was love, wealth, and prosperity coming through. So sometimes I was thinking like, oh, it's a year of love, prosperity, and, and wealth because in a sense we may need it, but it's still there nonetheless. You know what I mean? So if you're feeling like there's there's worries of withdrawal or of like fear of, of desolation, 
prosperity is granted where it's needed for your vision even is what I got too. So, but you have to follow through. And so that was the next note I got, follow through. You may be the kind of person where when you get tied up and caught up with everybody else's opinions and what they think and the actions that they're taking to slow you down, you stop because it hurts your feelings and it makes you tired, right? And it makes you feel like you want to lay down, you need rest. Maybe there's an innovation that you can do better, right? That will make it easier. But the reality is, it's like avoiding the people is what you can't do. Avoiding the negativity that people are putting on you is what you cannot do this time. And I, I'm talking to myself, but I feel like I'm really talking to other people too with that one of like, I know I am. It's like, I know how it feels when the opposition is so heavy and it just makes you feel like, you know, being the excluded kid on the playground. Why fucking play? Why am I going to play with these rude ass kids? Why? Like, let me find another way where I can do it. I can feel protected. I can feel safe. I don't have to be pushed by these bullies and all that. Do what you can do and keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And then I got, you know, flexibility is key. So sometimes things may be taken away from you that stop you. Be flexible. Trust that, like, you have what you need with this body, with this mind, with these hands, with your skills. You don't need, you don't like, it's like you don't have to hide from what you can do because others don't approve of what you do, you know? The answer, it was a need or something. The answer was a need. I don't know if she says it was a need, but it's like needing an answer, needing a way to. Get through, you know? Green tea pain is coming through right now. I don't know if it's like because I'm liking my look that I feel like I'm giving green tea pain energy. But I remember her talking about how like before, y'all know I talk a lot about, you know, being an artist and all that. But just that she like had to move somewhere else and do a lot of healing before she was able to really like put work out there. And I don't know her story, but I intuitively feel this kind of feeling of like, I don't know, you know, the industry is fucked up. The industry is fucked up. And I feel like that's something that may be revealed this year or either later in the year, 2025. And do y'all remember? You might remember this. A few years ago, I remember seeing it clear as day that the music industry was going to really be taking a beating for the shit that they were doing to people. I remember like seeing so many readings of people predicting that like the industry, Los Angeles, Hollywood, like these, these um, big corporations that make big creations we're gonna be really taking a beating because some of the things that they're doing um, is very unjust all the way down to like just how they hire people, the way they decide to hire people, the way that they use people, like they're disposable, use creators like they're disposable, take little pieces of their work and then leave the, the artist, you know, to die. <laughs> no money, no support, nothing. Um, and you know, and then and then like throwing somebody's desire to be independent in their face, and it's like I wanted to be independent because exactly what you do and did and continue to do. You know what I mean? 
And maybe that's why I was kind of feeling the Lauren Hill energy. I feel like she talked about that of like people who haven't really reached out to her wanting to make another album, right? And I don't know her personality. I don't know her. I feel like a lot of people say things about who she is and who don't know her or make opinions just because she's a strong, powerful woman who has a lot to say. Um, but it's like her art changes people's lives every day, you know? Every day, her voice changes people's life. Her art changes people's life every day, right? And I just feel like it's like for me in particular, her album, you know, reminds me so many things, even when I don't listen to it for a long time. And then like, you know, I just, something about that, something about that something about that having to kind of be a visionary in a world where other folks don't see the vision and usually that is a visionary's job usually that is a visionary's job for everyone to be like mm, no sugar and you're like uh yeah sugar and you keep going you keep going and also i'll say you know it's like for some folks, I, you can see the bigger picture and you can see that your people exist often through online. It's like as many readers as there are, like there's so many people doing this work <laughs> that it's just kind of like, what am I hiding for? You know what I mean? So um. So then I got spirit animal, owl, representing a turning of events that bring in justice. And that was bring in justice. So I was feeling that of this like, folks who are not flexible, folks who are very stuck in their ways of things having to be one way. And that can be you. It's like knowing what you're standing for and knowing when to be flexible. Um, but I'm picking up negative, like very karmic energies that are stuck with just like digging their claws into people, into things, into ways so tightly that it's like, you know, I'm thinking that the year's going to be dragging you through until you accept, accept that things may have to be different. Just, uh, you're just dragging you through by the ponytail, by the dragging you that's what i was getting or dragging them you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> there can be a turning of events that will bring in justice when you follow through with your word your ideas with justice in general whatever it is just keep going mm -hmm. and it makes me think even with like the wood dragon, you know, like that difference between wood being stable and then like working too hard and then it, it breaks. Like I'm thinking like a stick. It's strong, but if you just put your foot through it, like I don't give up, it's gonna break. So it's kind of like well, how, what is that balance between being stable, making, decisions having the vision in mind and then or just like even holding it so tight that it breaks apart kind of energy so yeah i did get that i did get that i did get that mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm.
Let's get more Palo Santo. So I'm gonna jump into that. Mm -mm. No, not really in that good energy. Mm, so that's another thing that I got. Crossing of lines. I feel like there has been a lot of line crossing magic being done at the time or like an intention to confuse folks of their destiny and somebody else's destiny. Like really jumping into um, somebody else's energy and being so close to it that you take it as your own and that that can cause a lot of confusion as you continue on like it's like really knowing who you are right now is important because it's like if you lean on somebody else if you lean on what somebody else's vision for them is when you know that's not your vision it's gonna cause issues and i remember seeing a picture of like looking at your reflection or like a person looking at their reflection but they're so close to the mirror they're like kissing themselves in the mirror and it's kind of that energy of either mirror magic, right? Like pulling so much energy on somebody else with your cards that you're all up in their damn life and confusing your life with their life. Like I just keep seeing that, like different paths. We have different paths, but you're trying to take from where I'm at, you know, and vice versa. So I thought that was very interesting. And I definitely have been feeling that of like picking up, um, just being a little too close for comfort spiritually of, of certain people's energy. And in some cases for my protection, but in some cases I'm just kind of like, I really don't need to know, you know? But it's like, I feel like, also, spirit will not let you rest with certain kinds of information because they want you to know something or they want you to make a certain decision, you know? But it can just get, I've been feeling that. Like, it's just like, wow, I need space. I need spiritual space from some folks. Um, and then I saw again... I honestly, what I might do is start like saying what my shadow says to me, <laughs> just as I do um, every video. Cause I'm kind of just like, I don't know, if you've seen other videos on my channel, you may know I've been dealing with some really weird things with like camera stalking and surveillance and stuff. And I feel like even though I do pick up the negativity of actual people that like refuse to leave me alone refuse to stop stalking me and causing me a lot of pain it's like i I'll, i want to call it out and i feel like sometimes it'll be my shadow and then in some cases it is actually me picking up somebody else's negativity Okay, so then I'm going to get into love predictions, love energy, ah. love energy, love energy. So I, don't know. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, that's how a lot of people maybe are feeling about that love right now. Like, mm, no, or I mean, depending if you're already in it then maybe you're in it and you're fighting for it. But I've been getting this energy of like, if you're not at the moment, it may be around you, 
but it's like you feel too busy to put a lot of energy into it. So maybe it's because you're working or you have that vision or you have that innovation. And that could also be just like the same old song for you. Because I do remember in my cards, it was like um, TikTok in the never ending story in the Wisdom Oracle deck of kind of like being used to this of like no love for me like i'm focused type energy and that it does take a lot of work but then i was getting you're feeling like you're desiring a higher outcome out of something and it may be the kind of energy of also being innovative in the way that you see love and how you move towards love and being open to just calling it as you see it and then moving accordingly right like it's kind of like how do i feel about this person how are they showing me that they feel about me do i not want to hang because i just don't like them do i not want to hang because i want to be in withdrawal do i not want to hang just because i really just don't want to be around people and i i'm bitter Is it worth a try if they do me wrong like can I just dip and move to the next you know what I mean because it's like if you never dip a toe you'll never know type energy also so that's why I was feeling it with flexibility is key it's like if you know somebody is a little bit trash right whether it be they'll be trash towards you or You know how they move, but you may still be into it. A lot of us have the discernment already to be able to know in advance, right? Like that's the reality sometimes of be, doing this work. It's like you already know how someone is gonna do you before they even thought about doing it fully. So it's like, what do you wanna do? Do you want to just, do you want to go on a date? <laughs> go on a date. And that's if you're in withdrawal mode. Like if it's just been a really long time and it's kind of like at this point, you can just pick up that everybody has a shadow and that everyone, you know, is negative in some kind of way. But you're into it a little bit. Adventure, right? Adventurous. C maybe it's up to you what are you willing to put the time into but it, i was giving that that's what i was giving it was giving that like it's kind of like you'll never know if you don't you never know if you don't hey you never mm, if you don't mm. hey now you're a rock star get your game on go play so like see what happens see what happens see what happens and trust that your discernment will be with you through it. That's not to say, like, backstep into shit that you already know isn't good for you. But I just kind of think it's like, if it's, if it's going to be brought into fruition, bring it into fruition. Because that was the next thing I got as well. Um, the whole, like, spiritual, spiritual connection shit. Mm-mm. And I think it's because A, folks are, are tired of that. Um, it's like, I'm going to connect with my ancestors. I'm going to connect with the Most High. I'm going to connect with the deities that I'm working with. I don't really need to just be connecting to somebody else's spiritual energy when like nothing comes from it ever. So that's what I was getting of just kind of like this like secret mystery enchantment energy in the spiritual realm is is no is not really a go anymore for a lot of folks it's just kind of like if you don't like if i don't really know you or you don't know me and like you're not trying to be present there's really no point in trying to like cuddle up in the spiritual realm that's what i was getting that's really what i was getting and so and i something and when you feel tingles in the night, I'm gonna, let me key you in. 
when you're sleeping and you feel warm tinglies all over your body in the night, right? You can be connecting to somebody else in the spiritual realm. Maybe not always, but that can literally be like you getting ready to fall asleep and connect with somebody in the spiritual realm. And that's those tingles and that connection, right? And I think that when you're starting your spiritual journey and you're leaving folks behind that don't serve anymore, that shit is cool. And that's why there's always a twin flame reading and a dot, 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 because it's like it gives you kind of something helps you explore the spiritual realm. But then the reality is, when you've been doing that for a long time, it's like, um, do I know you first of all? Or do you wanna know me? Cause I'm not trying to just be connecting and like basically never having any kind of real recollection when I wake up in the morning. It's a real thing. And then it's like there's sexual demons that come through. Spiritual sexual demons. Spiritual sexual demons. You know what I mean? It's like people will do sex magic on you to have you in that state of connecting with somebody else that's really not good for you to connect to. All that. So it's kind of like it has to stop. It has to stop. It really has to stop. Like I'm only one that's really spiritual connect with folks that are also partners to me in my real life period so you know that was tea on that so then i was getting since we're still on the thing of love hold on i thought this was interesting i don't know if you remember a time maybe even seven eight years ago where like women were kind of on this freeing energy of like I'm tired of men, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of men and how they're treating me. I'm tired of this, I'm tired of that. We still honestly probably feel that way. But then it's like, there was, a, I just remember a time of like, everyone was kind of like, okay, I'm off men for a better lack of words. I'm off men and now I'm gonna date women instead, right? Because it's like, I don't have to deal with that problem. And I'm, and this isn't me trying to like, label anybody's sexuality either it's like if you you like what you like but i was picking up an energy of like wanting to explore being with women because you're sick of men and that you it makes you feel like you can be safer um you can be more protected by like having a woman beside you you can still feel pleasure from without having to deal with like the drama that men tend to bring and so then i'm getting on the other end that there are now men that are feeling a little bit more interested in experimenting with other men so that they can avoid like children um, and um, the troubles that they feel that women bring to the table, right? And so there's a switch of that for some, for some who are open and willing to explore. Clearly not all men are, but I was picking that up of this kind of thing of like, the shoe being on the other foot in that way. So I thought that was interesting. It's really, it's, I'm not really here for the judgment today. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not really here to be judging today, but I'm just saying that, that was what I picked up. And that um, women may still be, you know, exploring with women as well, right? But I was getting that, so I thought that was interesting. <clears throat> I thought that was, I just genuinely thought it was interesting. No shade, not a lot of tea, okay? But I, yeah, yeah. Like, if you're feeling flexible in that way, flexible and innovative in that way, that may be for you to explore. Um, yeah. Okay, so here's a little number. Two, two, one, 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 to tremble, to quake, to shiver because of the 
election that's coming up, right? And every four years, we go through more trauma and more drama of the fear of who's going to be elected. Who's going to be elected? What is that? What is this? Oh, this is, oh, don't mind me. That's, that's going to come through in a second of what I have to say next. Um, but take the unnecessary stress out of the election for your damn self, okay? <laughs> I understand that it's scary. I understand that who gets elected clearly affects how we see things, how our life changes for better or for worse, depending on how you see shit and how you want things to be. But the reality is, it's just gonna drag on. It's gonna cause shit to drag on. And often the election does drag on days after when it's supposed to be just a clear decision and then it's not and then it's four days later. Everyone's shaking in their boots. And so this felt like advice from spirit to me of like, you don't have to like stress yourself out so much about it that you can't breathe and you're like looking out the window scared and you're like, think about what we went through already and everyone was scared as fuck, right? 2016, everyone was scared as a motherfucker, right? But it's like, we did make it through. We did make it through. So it's like, keep that in mind, keep that in mind. Like you, like you don't have to, again, claw yourself into this information and stress yourself out because it is stressful. And it sucks also that it's like an individual only gets one piece of putting their two cents in of what they need, one vote. So it's like we don't all we don't have the power to change um, our what we need alone. Does that make sense? Like it's like what I need, what would make me the happiest, just myself is not gonna show up in the election. <laughs> like, it's like what I would need to be living the happiest, best life right now is not going to show up in the election for me. Like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like being able to split that difference of like, that's world consciousness. But what do I need day in and day out to make sure that I'm good? Because it's like, you know, it's, it's the president going to put me in a Jeep and send me to a place where the, the water is warm and the air is humid and I can breathe again? Nah, that's for me. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like, keep that in mind. Ba -ba -bum. <clears throat> Mm, yeah and then so that's another thing I was gonna say it's like I'm also I guess I maybe kind of said this in the beginning it might be redundant but I got the Hierophant the Fool and the Six of Wands when it comes to this election as well the Hierophant the Fool and the Six of Wands so I felt a good energy from it I felt a good energy from it and it's like when you see I felt a good energy from it, but it's hard to predict, you know, it's hard to predict. And sometimes I feel like I don't even want to put too much out there. Right. And it's like, you don't know my political views. I really don't want anybody to assume just based off of the things that I'm saying here. So please don't assume that, you know, like who, what I stand for just by this reading. Like, that, you know, it's like just <laughs> no need, no need. But I'm just saying that I got good energy from it and it felt like there was kind of um with the fool I felt freshness freshness so that's what I'll say um so 2024 is an eight year also 
when you add up the numbers of the year, it adds up to one number and then that number can kind of also represent the energy that the year is going to bring and so it's an eight year and i have some notes on the eight year um look at this an eight year is a year of power and confidence, regaining your power after the deep understanding in the seven year. So was this year not a year, right? I, mean, I said that about 2022 too, which was a six year, but was it not? It was an interesting year. And so themes of authority and ego and finding peace a little bit as well. This is what I wrote a while ago. So some of this maybe may not resonate. Um, let me see. Eight is the strength card in tarot. Then you think of eight of wands, quick decisions, action and attacks, eight of swords, mental traps, eight of cups, emotional sovereignty, and the eight of pentacles, higher learning, achievement, and study. So it's kind of like thinking of that eight year theme as well i was speaking of something about less nature those that maybe live in city city landscapes where it's like high rises and stuff like that less nature um wanting to be in nature less and so needing to fight more to find it where you can find it i'm finding the courage to as well so something like that i was getting high rises even less nature And then the energy that I was getting about clothing, right? Because I feel like because of just things that have already been going on, maybe the state of folks' finances, things just may not be hitting the way that they once hit, you know? And I, <laughs> that sucks, but that also may just be your reality at the moment, right? Like you have what you have. You have the clothes that you have um that thrifting energy and like even just fabric energy and like learning how to put fabric on your body and not even necessarily that you have to sew it <laughs> but just that like if you can you know more power to you 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 do it like really but i'm just saying that um I'm picking up long coats and modesty. So people kind of wanting to be in this more modest energy, maybe just cause how they've been feeling or the, the intensity of the energy even by chance. Um, and then hand washing clothes, that came through hand washing clothes. So I thought that was interesting, hand washing clothes. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, hand washing clothes. Dun, 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 dun. And then here's my last little bit. So I got something about kids playing a role of justice through play without even really realizing it. And like what I saw, it was the Ten of Pentacles card. And I just thought it was kind of funny. Like, 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 hold on. And also, I'm not here to compete with other readers and, and like, you know, how deep your downloads have gone, by the way. So I really don't care, you know, if you got 
if my downloads you feel like aren't coming in as fast as yours or you have yours are more interesting to watch or something um not into it not feeling it and not concerned about it so you know like that's your business and it's i heard something about give god the ha and it's like if you know you know like the ha in the in the vogue beat um or the like ah when somebody does a dip at the end right giving god the ha so like being able to say like if we're all getting the downloads from up there who are you to judge me for the way i deliver mine and how you deliver yours if we're getting it i'm not getting mine from you and hopefully you're not getting mine from me right hopefully you're not getting yours from me excuse me right like hopefully you're not coming on here and then just writing down what i say or what you saw and then i'm um, repeating it in a video hopefully not but um knowing where the downloads come from and that that matters more than um being the the, the first one to say it and that if you're a, if you're thieving though if you're thieving and if you're stealing surveillancing that will be coming out i did get that download that will be coming out but back to what i was saying about this ten of pentacles card if you see there's this little kid over here pulling on the dog's tail right and kind of like distracting from this conversation that's going on here or this like thing that's going on right here and i'm just kind of feeling this energy is kind of like a older energy or energy very stuck in their ways and then like the kids using play realizing it a little bit but not fully realizing how they are checking their elders just by saying what they have to say and like in a very playful innocent way and still like getting under the elder skin um and i thought it was funny but in a way of of justice you know what i mean and i picked that up of like when a kid says something to you and like you think that you know better but their opinion is not your opinion and they tell you something that makes you even think of it differently of like well like i guess i okay you know what i mean i'm picking up a lot of that and i think that that's cool i think that's interesting so you may be picking that up if you have kids or nieces or something like they're about to be checking checking you and not even realizing it and that's the power of spirit right like how many times do you sometimes say things and not even realize like you just read somebody they didn't even know or somebody says something to you and you felt read by it like you feel offended by it but they didn't even really realize what they said i'm getting that kind of energy um then i got let me see family feeling worth defending despite trouble in relationships so that's what i was also saying like in the case of folks that are already in a relationship you may want to feel you know or you want to be in an energy where you're defending the family dynamic that you're in right even though um the connection romantically may or may not be where you want it whatever but i'm picking up an energy of like putting family first or like being willing to um stick beside them for better or for worse right but for the sake of family energy and like that's not always bad that's not always bad it's really not so yeah, and then, then I was picking up mother matriarch energy as well. So it's like there could be a thing where women are taking kind of more power over the household in general, what they want, what they feel like they need. And like, you know, like this is how it needs to be. This is how I want it to be. Right. Um, so I got that mother matriarch. And then finding unique ways to... Um, find a way through that innovative right so innovative in 
relationships, innovative in work, innovative in maybe how you're presenting yourself even, the clothes that you're wearing, um, all that I'm picking up in 2024. And then in 2025, kind of seeing the effects that it has had on your life and um, on where, you, where you'll be by then, right? So that is all I have. Let me just sage it out and then I'm like, that's it. Let's see if anything else comes through while I sage it out. I really didn't pull any cards for this, but I did take notes. I feel like maybe I just wanted you to see though. I don't know why, but I was taking notes. So. That really is all. I thought maybe I would have more, but I kind of feel at peace with where I left it. So I will leave it there. I'll leave it like that. Uh -oh. Leave it like that. Leave it like that. So that's it. That's the 2024 predictions. Hope it gave you something to think about. Hope it resonated in some kind of way with you. And more power and more grace to you starting here and all the way through the year all right peace till next time bye